Thank you for tuning into Devotions. Okay, we're on Mark chapter five, and we've been talking all this week about faith in difficult times, and I know I'm going through a healing real slow this week, but I really want you to get this down of the stages and the steps in order to have the impossible done that God wants. So what I want to do in Mark chapter five, I want to look at verse 37, and he allowed no one to follow him except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. So if you missed yesterday, this man's little girl needs healed. People are mocking him. They're laughing at him because when he gets to the house, the little girl has passed away. He turns to the father who is the ruler of the synagogue. This is a really big deal. This man is someone. The rulers in his synagogues, they hated Jesus. The Pharisees, Sadducees, everybody hated him. This man believes that he is the Messiah. Okay, he's desperate. He's hit rock bottom. Remember, when you hit rock bottom, you find Jesus is the the solid rock at the bottom. And so this man believes. Jesus is telling him it's going to take place just to believe. Now, we have these mockers. They're family members. They're friends. They're at the house. They're there to comfort them. And they can't believe Jesus is trying to do this. So look what Jesus says. He goes, he doesn't have anyone in there except Peter and James and John. That's it. Why? Because they believe. Okay, so if I'm doing something, I'll have a lot of times people around me. They can't do that. If I'm doing some business thing for the church or for my family for years, uh, people say, you can't do that. Of course, I want wisdom and listen to why. And then I realize they, they just don't know what God can do. They you know, I know what God told me to do, or, or you're in a real discouraging situation. I do not listen to any negative voices. In fact, separate, separate, separate from all negative people. I mean, I don't care if it's your brother, your sister. Let's say it's your spouse. Okay, well, when you're doing great things and your, your spouse is not with you, just don't listen to them. I mean it. Don't listen. You do what God has told you to do. Because the devil will speak through those voices and they will get to you. Notice, he only took positive people, positive faith, people who believed in that room with him to heal that little girl. Don't let others limit your faith. Sometimes you got to just leave people in the dust. I mean that. (laughs) If your spouse, if your mother or father, if your brother, sister, if your best friends, if your Christian friends, they don't want to take a leap of faith. They don't want to go to greater heights with God and, 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 and do what seems unbelievable. Leave them behind in your faith. You are a leader then. God's going to use you in a great way. And sometimes you have to go alone, just you and God. And that means you're not alone. Look at uh, verse 38 to 40. They came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, where the little girl is. Jesus saw the commotion, the people are weeping and wailing. And when he entered them, uh, he goes, why are you making commotion and weeping? This child is not dead, but sleeping. He's talking about her physical body, but she's physically died. Remember, our body's sleeping until the great day of the resurrection. The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. He put them all outside. Look, get rid of all the negative people. Get away the non-believers. Get all the fleshly believers out of there. That would be today. Get away from them. Took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. So he went there, right? That little girl. Listen, listen to no man who has not listened to God. Don't listen to anybody who hasn't listened to God. Every time God tells you to do something, it is a test of your faith. What's God telling you to do? Nobody else believes it. Everybody else thinks you're foolish. If you know that's what God wants in your life, I want you with joy in your heart, a smile on your face, claim it, name it, pray it, praise God, speak what he's going to do, and God is going to bring it to pass.